Hello, brave boys and girls. Today, we are going to learn about the elements of the tabernacle. So let's begin. After God redeemed Israel from Egyptian bondage, He established a covenant with them at Mount Sinai. And at the heart of this covenant was the promise that He would be Israel's God and they would be His people. The Lord instructed Moses to build a tabernacle, a place where God would meet with them. Immediately, Moses began enlisting workers. Every family was asked to contribute materials such as wood, gold, fabric, and more so that the tabernacle could be built. God was very detailed in His instructions that He gave for the people to follow. Let's go over them together. The tabernacle consisted of three distinct areas. The first area was called the outer court. Inside this outer court was a bronze altar and a laver for washing. The second area, called the holy place, was where the priest ministered on a daily basis. Inside the holy place was the table of showbread, a golden candlestick, and an altar of incense. And the third and final place was called the Holy of Holies. Only the high priest was allowed to enter here once a year on the Day of Atonement. Inside the Holy of Holies was the Ark of the Covenant. All the elements of the tabernacle and the sacrifices that took place within the tabernacle are an amazing picture of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today, we do not need a tabernacle to meet with God because the Lord has made a way for us to dwell together through His Son, Jesus Christ. If you have placed your faith in the Son of God, then God Himself dwells in you. Isn't that amazing? Let's go over the elements of the tabernacle together one more time. Inside the tabernacle, the first area was called what? The outer court. Then there was the second area. That was called what? The holy place. There God instructed them uh, in the place uh, where they had had the table of showbread, golden candlestick, and an altar of incense. The third and final place was called the Holy of Holies. There God instructed them to, to put the Ark of the Covenant. Great job. If you would like to learn more about the elements of the tabernacle, then you should read Exodus chapters 25 through 30. And we will see you next time. Thank you for learning with us.